Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andy and you're watching the Opinionated Reefer YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what I doze into the narrow tank. And it's this stuff, all for reef. So let's get into it. So what is Alpha Reef? Alpha Reef is an all-in-one dosing solution for your reef tank. It contains calcium, magnesium, carbonate hardness and trace elements all in a single solution. Carbocalcium is exactly the same thing but it doesn't contain uh, magnesium or trace elements. But what you can do is you can mix 12 grams of biomagnesium in with 160 grams of carbocalcium and create a single dosing solution that will cover your calcium, alkalinity and magnesium without having to dose trace elements. What you would do is mix the biomagnesium into the carbocalcium liquid after you had already mixed up the carbocalcium. You would want to do this if, for example, you wanted to dose trace elements independently of um, the alpha reef because alpha reef doses trace elements in a fixed ratio based on your alkalinity consumption. Another good reason for uh, not dosing trace elements and dosing it separately is, let's be honest, unless your tank is absolutely rammed full of corals like mine is, you probably don't need those that amount of trace elements and it actually works out a lot cheaper just to buy the carbocalcium. The primary ingredient in carbocalcium and alpha reef is calcium formate. Now how this differs from your traditional two-part uh, dosing solutions is that in order for the alkalinity and the, and the calcium to be released into your tank, the formate has to be metabolized by the bacteria in your tank, which will then allow the calcium and alkalinity to become present in the water column. Well, that's it in layman's terms as, as far as I understand it. So this is my tank currently and I would say so far the Alpha Reef has been doing a great job. Now I am having to dose quite a lot of it so I'm currently dosing 30 ml per day of Alpha Reef into this uh, nano tank which is only about 170 to 180 litres. I also found that when I dosed uh, carbocalcium in the past in the Reefer 350 that was heavily SPS dominated, it also used a heck of a lot of carbocalcium. So I think I was dosing maybe 120 ml a day. So what I would say is Although it probably is the best solution for small tanks and beginners, um, it's definitely not the most concentrated uh, dosing solution. So, for example, when I was dosing 120 ml per day of carbocalcium in the Reefer 350 and I switched to ATI Essentials Pro 2 part, I went down to 35 to 40 ml per day of the ATI Essentials Pro. So that just goes to show you uh, how much more concentrated that was. So if you take a look at my tank here, you can see that I actually have uh, an outbreak of cyanobacteria. Now this kind of puzzled me at first. So it prompted me to carry out an ICP test just to see if any of these trace elements or anything like that had been building up out of control. Now it turned out that it wasn't the Alpha Reef that 
was the cause of this. I've actually been uh, dosing a little bit of ATI, nutrition, uh, phosphate and uh, nitrate and it, I think I've overdosed that and that's what's caused uh, the cyano outbreak. If you look at some of the Acropora you'll see that they've kind of lost their colour and browned out a bit. But with that said, let's take a look at the ICP results from uh, six months of dosing um, all for reef. So here's my ICP results. It's from a local UK company called Reef Z Elements or Z Elements. The reason I chose these guys was that I wanted a really quick turnaround and I got the results back within a, a couple of days. So as you can see, most things look like they're in the green. Um, my calcium's spot on, well pretty much. Um, magnesium, that's perfectly fine within range. Um, Sodium is a little bit high, it's saying. I don't know how that happened, but that's maybe just due to water changes or the salt or something like that, but water changes will sort that out. Uh, my strontium is a little bit low. I wouldn't say it's mega low. It's only maybe 2 out, 7.65 to 9. Um, it's saying my manganese is undetectable and molybethanum is low, but again, I wouldn't say it was ridiculously low. Should be 12, mine's is sitting at 8. Uh, zinc is high, now I'm not sure where that's coming from, it could be from a, a pump or something like that. Uh, phosphate is high, as you can see. I've overdosed phosphate, so this actually helped me figure this out. Um, everything else is in the green. So, going by that, I would say that uh, Alphareath is doing a fine job of uh, maintaining the tank and all the trace elements. Those uh, minor fluctuations will be sorted out with a couple of 20% uh, water changes. So, pretty pleased with that. So, what I'll do now is just give you a quick demonstration of how to mix this stuff up. So, what you do is measure out your 160 grams. So as you can see, it's quite a, a damp, sticky sort of powder, unlike carbocalcium. That must be due to the, the trace elements that's in it. So once you've got your 160 grams, just mix it in with your uh, one litre of RODI water. It'll, it'll be pretty cl cloudy at first and it takes a, a really good bit of stirring to get this mixed. So I find that it takes maybe a good 10-15 minutes eh, to stir in this stuff before it's fully ready. So. I'll just keep stirring it here for the moment. So, as you can see, the liquid is now cleared up quite a bit. And all I'm doing here is uh, pouring it into an old uh, All For Reef liquid bottle just to uh, store it for a, for a later date. Once it's mixed, it has a virtually indefinite shelf life and I just quite like to point out that buying it in powder form is significantly cheaper than buying a liquid 
uh, all for Reef. I wouldn't bother with that at all. So one thing I have noticed with all for Reef is if you look at this dozen bottle here you can see some sort of mould or black stuff growing in the dozen container. Now it's apparently harmless but I've never came across that with any other type of a dozen uh, solution. It even like forms in the Alpha Reef bottles. So what I do is set up my dosing pump to dose the 30ml per day split into three separate doses. Um, and that keeps my alkalinity pretty much perfectly stable. And there's nothing more to it than that. You don't even have to dose all for reef in more than one dose, but I find that three equal doses equally spaced out throughout the day and there's virtually no fluctuation whatsoever. So there you have it guys, how to dose all for reef in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.